it's Karen and Jackie with 360 Alberta and uh, we're here today to give a shout out for a few community events that are coming up here in the next little bit. That's so uh, yeah, we've got uh, on November 17th, the Manville 4-H Club is celebrating 80 years um, and what they're going to be doing is holding a turkey supper and silent auction on November 17th at the Manville Elks Hall. It's an advanced ticket only event so you've got to get your tickets. There's only 100 to be sold. So get your tickets now at a number of local businesses in Manville. Wow, and I've got some things happening that weekend too. On November 18th at St. George's uh, Anglican Church in Fort Saskatchewan is the Christmas Handcraft Fair. You need to get there early to get the best things, but these ladies work all year creating quilts and quilted materials, and then they use those funds to do uh, support throughout the community, 10 till 4. What else you got, Jackie? All right, well, if we take a look also on the 18th, uh, from 3 to 5 p.m., it's a celebration of lights in Sherwood Park. Nice. It's when they turn everything on. They're collecting donations for the food bank when that happens. And on the 19th in Gibbons, it's their parade of lights, and it starts at 5.30. That whole weekend is their hometown weekend. So I, it, uh, it's got a great seniors meal. You need tickets for that. But a lot of events happening uh, on uh, that particular weekend. Good. Sounds exciting. It does. So on November 22nd, the Innisfree Library is once again holding its annual holiday in the hallways. Uh, at the Millennium Building, which is located just north of the school in Innisfree along Highway 870. There will be a silent auction, refreshments, and also a white elephant auction. Do you know what that is, Jackie? Ah, uh, those are when I get rid of things in my closet. <laughs> <laughs> it can be. Um, or you can buy a whole bunch of tickets and put them in the baskets of oh. whichever item you hope to win. Wow. So yeah, so uh, they'll be having that. All proceeds from this event stay locally in the community. So come on out and support that event. And then there's a number of local organizations uh, that are participating in that holiday in the hallway. Okay. Well, on the weekend of the 24th, it's another busy weekend. So if their lights aren't lit up by then, November 24th is the Fort Saskatchewan light up. From 5.15 to 7.30, they're going to be a uh, petting zoo they've got free hot chocolate pictures with santa so you may want to take that in and they have a fire show one at 5 40 one at 6 20 and one at 7 p.m and also getting into the christmas spirit and the holiday spirit is uh, the 25th is christmas in the heartland it is its 15th year a lot of community organizations if you head to moyer center in Joseburg, because it's always better in the Berg. It's mm -hmm. a good place to start, and you will just self-guide your way across the area and pick up some really great items. That night, Lamont is also lighting up, so you just have to head a little further east. They've got a market going on during the day, and a very Mer Vegreville Christmas is also on that weekend. From 5.30 to 6.30 at 6 o'clock downtown is the countdown for the lights. And the parade starts at 6.05. Now, one place I really like taking in is the Camrose Midnight Madness Sale. So when you've finished all of those light-ups, head on down to Camrose uh, from 5 to 11. Main Street, all the stores are open late. I've bought some great gifts uh, during that time. I've even dragged my husband to that. So uh, oh, poor he Doug. Didn't, well, he didn't mind. <laughs> he didn't mind it too much. And in Malague, uh, from 10 to 4 on the 25th and the 26th, they've got some Christmas markets. Nice. Well, you've got a busy area to cover, Jackie. Well, it's our area. Good, good. And we always like to support our organizations in our communities as well. So if you've got events coming up that you want us to cover, um, contact us uh, at 360 Alberta, and we'd love to feature them in our coming events. You bet. See you next time.